How much fabric can you purchase in two hours in a huge fabric warehouse? Stick around and you'll find out. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Sharon Sews. If you have been following my channel for a while, you know anytime we visit Minnesota, I budget in time to visit my favorite fabric warehouse. That's hard to say really fast. Favorite, favorite, you know what I mean, SR Harris. This warehouse has two locations in the Twin Cities. As usual, I had one hour at each one. Because I knew my time was limited in the fabric store, I had a list. Now, my list has been tossed out the window before and I have done that, but I did pretty good about sticking with it this time. It's just that when you walk into SR Harris, especially if you've never been there before, it can be overwhelming for one thing, but so inspirational. There is so much fabric, but I did a really good job sticking with my list. What I wanted was linen, and knits. Those are two things that I don't have a lot of and it is hot outside. It's going to be over 100 degrees again today because it's been so hot. I was looking for natural fibers. How did I do? Well, let's find out. You'll find hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bolts and knits, but so many of those are polyester blends. I did not want those. I'm looking for things that are comfortable in this heat. So I was looking for rayon knits and cotton knits and linen knits. Anything that was labeled a polyester knit, I left behind, even though there were some very beautiful designs. What good would it do me to purchase fabric, sew something beautiful, and not be able to wear it because it's too uncomfortable? This is what I purchased. I have this lovely lightweight, I believe it's a cotton blend. It's got a nice drape, as you can see. Oh, I can see this top wasn't the best top to wear if I'm gonna be lifting things up. I got a couple yards of that and then I found this, this is a rayon knit, beautiful floral, pinks, purples, whites, very summery. And I thought I could do the two of them together. And I'm going to do, oh, you'll just have to excuse me. And I'm going to sew the Sewing Workshop Edgewater Dress. This one has three different fabrics, but I'm sure with all the fabric that I have in my stash, I can find a little piece that will go for that third. My friend Lori also purchased these same fabrics. She's doing a different color blocked dress. Once the two of them are done, I will share them with you. This rayon knit, it's gray with a tiny little heart on it. Can you see that? Little bit of a metallic. This is actually going to be loungewear. Probably won't sew it for the summer. This will be more in fall. Now that I've unfolded it, I actually think it's a really lightweight French terry. It's got a little bit of a little loop on the back, which is perfect because I bought it for athleisure wear. I'm going to make a matching set for myself and for my daughter. This is another rayon knit. It's rather lightweight. So you can see it's a little semi-sheer. Translucent would be a better word. I liked the little floral print on it. I didn't have anything in mind when I purchased this one. Nice drape. This next one, I have Lori to blame for this one. It's a red, white, and blue stripe. As you can see, the stripe has a bold stripe about, what is that, about a yard? About a yard to yard with the bigger stripe. That's gonna be fun to find some type of a pattern that I can play with those stripes. And since Lori purchased it also, once she's done with her dress and I'm done with my dress, I will share both of those with you and you can see how we interpreted this piece of fabric differently. I did find one linen knit that I really liked. A lot of the linen knits were subdued colors, but I found this bright pink. Love the color. Apparently a lot of other people do too because there was only two yards left on the bolt and I purchased the two yards. I don't know which pattern I'm going to sew yet, but I was inspired to purchase a linen knit after looking at the Elaine Fisher website and seeing so many linen knit tops that had simple lines, but they were elegant in their simplicity. After sewing the It's to Stitch Lamont top in a linen, I realized how incredibly comfortable linen was in this heat. That is the biggest reason I was looking for linen when I went shopping at Isser Harris. A lot of the 100% linens were in really blah colors that I was not interested in. However, the first piece I bought is bland. It's your basic. This is kind of what I think of when I think of linen. It's a very beigey, browny, tanny color. The reason I bought this is to sew this old vintage pattern. What is this? 9078 McCall's. I had seen a shirt that looked like this out of this 
color paired with white linen pants. I have white linen here at home already. And I thought that was a really cute, simple yet elegant look. And that's my plan for this. This piece caught my eye because I think the color is beautiful. However, look how sheer it is. It's almost, in my opinion, is almost um, appropriate for drapery, home deck. However, I did purchase a couple yards because I was thinking I might sew an old simplicity pattern, this one right here, right there. I think the sheerness of this would work beautifully in this. There's so much draping going on and it would be lightweight even though there are longer sleeves. So that's what I'm thinking for this piece, a lightweight top. This next linen piece is a beautiful lightweight lilac with a little bit of a uh, dot spot through it. This one is only 45 inches wide. I'm trying to get it unfolded so that you can see it. Um, it's got that stiffness of a linen. Very pretty in person. I'm not sure if it's coming across right on the camera. This one I purchased to sew this. This is the Issey Miyake 2315 from 1999. I do remember sewing this back when the pattern was first released. At the time, 1999, I don't know how many years ago that was because I'm not going to do math while I'm live on camera. At the time, I wore a much smaller size. It was about 25 pounds lighter than I am now. But I do remember that even then it was a little bit tight in the bust. So because my bust is so much larger now, I am going to have to figure out how to do a full bust adjustment if that's even possible. I do remember it was a really cute dress, easy to sew. I gave it to a girlfriend. Oh, you know, I'll have to see if she still has it. She has not changed sizes and she may still have it in her closet. I'm looking forward to sewing this one fairly quickly because I think it would be really comfortable in the heat. This one I purchased because I love the color. And that as her hair's all fabric is half price of what is listed on the bolt, so $14.99 a yard. So half of that, what, $7.50? And I liked the green of it. So this one was a cotton blend. I believe it was a linen cotton. That's why the price was so much less. And I have four yards because I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it. I was thinking of this one. I don't know that I can actually wear this. Oh, this top. Sorry about that. 2314. This is also from 1999. I sewed the top back in the day. I never sewed the pants. The top I do like. I would have to find a way to lengthen it. My other option is, I like this jacket. I've sewn it twice now. I haven't sewn it in linen. So this is a possibility. Or maybe inspiration will strike with another pattern for this bright green cotton linen blend. This bright blue, 100% linen, where's the end of it? I bought because I love the color. I think this color is beautiful. I have no plans for this one yet. 100% linen. Probably some type of a, probably a summer dress, a summer linen dress. Just have to decide on the pattern. This blue linen. No specific plans for this one. Just trying to get it unfolded so you can see the drape. Kind of a light chambray blue. I think it's a linen cotton blend now that I'm feeling it. I've been looking at a lot of my old Vogue designer patterns and I might do this one. I might do this, what is this? Uh, oh, this is some Montana from 1572. This is a Claude Montana. I like this shirt. It's very oversized. Let me show you the line drawing. And that's what I might use this one for. The last piece of linen that I purchased is a off-white and black striped linen. Let's see, a little sheer. Oh gosh, let's get it unfolded. You can see the drape. I bought this because I was going to make a pair of pants. Now I'm wondering if it's too, might be too sheer. We'll see, pair of pants, skirt, dress. At the beginning of the video, I did tell you that I was only going for knits and linens. I did buy two quilting cottons. This first one has flamingos. I just really like flamingos. I like flamingo prints. I'm going to sew a sewing workshop. Oops sewing workshop cottage shirt, just a loose fitting camp style shirt. And the other quilting cotton that I purchased has guitars. This is going to be another shirt for my dad. Even though he said he doesn't want any more shirts last time I was there, he did acknowledge that he wears the ones that I sewed for him fairly frequently. My father has played the guitar ever since I can remember. He's got an old acoustic guitar that is still in his possession. And that fabric just reminded me of my father. 
Whew. As you can tell, I know that store really well, and I was able to do a lot in only one hour at each location. Now, I have to get busy. I have a lot of fabric to sew up. I'll see you in the next video. Have a blessed day. Happy sewing. When you want, ugh. of course it's a knit. I said that already. Don't want that. I almost stepped on that one. <laughs>